My name is Hugh Laurie. When people get sick on television, the answers come easily, or at least within 48 minutes. In real life, things are more complicated. One in two men and one in three women will be diagnosed with cancer during their lifetimes. That could mean you, me, our friends, our families. Yet the answers for treating cancer often remain sadly out of reach. Scientists at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center are working daily to develop improved therapies for battling this complex disease. Under the direction of Dr. Judith Gasson, the Johnson Cancer Center promotes a collaborative, interdisciplinary approach, bringing together top researchers from over 40 fields of expertise. Through inspiration and innovation, these scientists are improving outcomes for patients and changing the way we think about cancer, one discovery at a time. I was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a testicular cancer. I was diagnosed with synovial sarcoma when I was 21. My surgeon said, well, it hasn't metastasized. We'll just, just we've sewn you back up. We're going to give you chemo and radiation, then open you up again. I said, OK. They told me that I had uh, two tumors, one in uh, my stomach and another one in the testicle. If my leg gets taken off, I'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life. People use the word cancer, and they frequently don't realize that they're talking about over a hundred different diseases. If we're going to be successful, we have to move away from the one-size-fits-all model that we've used in the past. The researchers at UCLA's Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center have participated in the FDA approval of many targeted therapies that are being used across the United States and around the world, providing cures for patients who previously had very deadly forms of this disease. Through the support of the Cancer Center, um, we were also able to establish a specific long-term follow-up clinical program for our childhood cancer survivors. And we're one of eight centers in the country that are able to provide a unique clinic that cares for young adults who survive the childhood cancer experience. But the kind of research support that we are getting from our cancer center is so important to give us the basis for a uh, research project that we can then build up over time in a um, major research endeavor. I'm really thankful I was treated here at UCLA. The doctors, the nurses, they were really helpful, really, they really helped me go through this, which is why today, you know, I'm here healthy, and I want to give back to the hospital. And I want to become a registered nurse. It's because of these contributions that the research can happen and that they can find better cures and better solutions for these rare cancers and any other cancer that's out there. I just I just focused on what I what was really good in life and then I just trusted my doctors. I adored my doctors. As a survivor I'm just thankful to God each and every day I wake up for being healthy. You know before I just used to live but today I live strong. I of course value every second of my life now. I'm doing what I want to do because life is really short and you never ever know what's going to happen. The doctors at UCLA are their heroes. That's going to make me cry. <laughs> I'm a miracle case that I'm, I'm still here two years later. The challenges that we face today are not that we don't have the science that we can translate. And it's not that we don't have the technology on the horizon to be better able to diagnose and to treat patients. The challenges are the resources that we need to be successful. We need those resources in two very important areas. First area is to support leading edge research from very talented investigators. The other reason we need philanthropic support is to support the new generation of scientists and physicians that are coming from our training programs that are going to take over the responsibility for cancer research for future generations. The Johnson Cancer Center is leading the war against cancer, but we're a long way from eradicating the disease. People are sick now. And we can all do our part by continuing to support groundbreaking research that can make the difference for patients in need. Thank you for your generosity and for believing in a world without cancer. <laughs>